Hi everybody! So I'm back with another Boredom Buster video. Pardon my hair. As you know, we're in lockdown, so unfortunately I can't go to the hairdresser uh, or at the salon. So my hair is what it is. My face is what it is. <laughs> So today's activity that I'm going to be showing you is one again that I did together with Carla. Uh, it's very self-explanatory because basically um, what we did was we took rocks that we collected last year at the river and we decided to create inspiration rocks because this time during lockdown is quite a difficult time as many of you know and sometimes we have ups and sometimes we have downs and we thought that if we painted these rocks and put like positive messages on them or drew things on them that were you know cute that gave us kind of like a i don't know a feel good kind of a sensation then they would be like a nice reminder when we saw them or when we looked at them to uh, make us feel better you know what i mean and it was also a really nice activity as well. So we we took the rocks and after I'm going to show you the, the markers that we used. And I'm just going to show you like really simple um, steps that we did. And, you know, the rest basically depends on you. All you need is rocks, um, the markers and your own imagination and you can create whatever you want. So that's it. And enjoy the video. It's short, it's sweet, and I hope that you get inspired and get some nice ideas. I mean, the folk, the main focus of the activities that I'm doing is basically um, help parents get ideas on what they can do with their kids uh, to keep their kids happy because we are very, very bogged down with homework. And obviously homework is not the only thing that kids can do. They need some kind of other activities when they're stuck in the house. And, and so I'm, I'm trying to come up with as many things as possible that parents can do with their kids and that kids will enjoy. So obviously what we've done is kid tested and kid approved. Good luck. <laughs> No, so I hope I hope that, like I said, we are an inspiration to you, and we can give you some ideas um, that are a little bit different than you know the typical I don't know board games and, and stuff like that. So enjoy, and if you have any questions, you can write down in the comments under the video, and I'll answer you. Okay, or if you have suggestions for other things that you want me to do, um, if you've seen another video that you liked, let me know. Put a like on it and make a comment at the bottom and I'll answer you. Okay, bye. So these are basically the rocks that I was talking about. I also put a picture here of my hand so you can see the, the size of the rocks or you can understand the size of the rocks a little bit better. So these are basically the markers that we used. We decided to use acrylic markers. Uh, one of them is Posca, which Mm, is a really well-known brand and I have to say it works really well and the other one is I, I don't know the name right now but you can see it on the on the picture anyways we got both from amazon.it quite a while back so this is one of the rocks that I painted and I'm trying to show you like the various steps Basically, I started off with the white heart in the middle first, and then I added the, the colored stripes. And then the last thing I usually do is the, the writing or the details. Uh, following that, you're gonna see a video that Carla herself did uh, with one of her rocks. Okay, so now this is my mom's. I have to paint it white for her because she is inside cleaning the kitchen. But after like, she said in five minutes she was gonna come. So I'm gonna, she asked me to paint her white. And actually when I was in camp, I started to do this M&M rock. And I'm gonna just paint all the red with white and redo it with a green color. Cause I don't really like this red. And also I don't like the mouth. And now, that's about playing. Now we are, 
mm, painting on the rocks, but with. Did you show the paints we're but, using? Yeah, but not with the white under. We left the rocks that with white with white on top to join the sun, and now we're just coloring directly on the rocks. So now I'm going to dry the with the hair dryer the wet rock the wet rock. Mm, why? Because it's faster. Mm, okay. Let me see. Let's dry you. So, I mean, I don't want to bore you with filming uh, us coloring all the rocks. I thought it would be just uh, nice to show you the various phases, as, as I did before, of some of the paintings, the, the rock paintings that we did. So this is one that I did. That you can see, um, first I painted the white part, then the trim on the outside, and then I wrote in the middle. Here you can see Carla's uh, finished M&M. And then lastly, the whole collection of rocks that we did. Basically, we spent a whole afternoon up until late at night painting the rocks and trying to create inspirational images on the rocks or friendly kind of rocks um, to kind of help us lift our spirits during this little bit of a, a difficult time when we're stuck in the house because of COVID. So I have to say it was really nice. It was a, a very relaxing activity that we enjoyed doing together. I mean, it's quite self-explanatory. If you can order the markers, if you can get them and you have some rocks, I mean, you can you are allowed to leave your house and go like in front. So if you're out in the country, then it's pretty easy to, to find some rocks and, and paint them. But basically with these markers, you can do it on, on any surface really. So um, you can be creative and use your imagination as, as much as you want. So Carla and I really hope that uh, we were able to give you some ideas about what to do together during the the time period when you have to stay in your house and we are working hard on thinking of other things that we can present you with like maybe some recipes or other activities or things to do together so stay tuned and remember to subscribe and give us a like if you like the video thanks and remember we're learning by doing we're not professionals so bear with us guys and stay safe